Hey yo! Welcome back to the Delia and Beyond. And we got some news here. Of course, you've probably been hearing it throughout the last couple of days. But we have some suspensions and bans in the MLB coming out the, um, here with some players. First, we have a Diamondbacks pitcher, Andrew Saul Frank, um, has been suspended for one year. Um, at athletics, a pitcher, um, and two pitchers from the athletics have been banned also for one year. Well, also, these are mainly suspensions because bans usually mean they can't come back. Um, we have um, also from the athletics, a minor league pitcher, Jay Groom, and a Phil, um, Phillies minor league uh, infielder, Jose Rodriguez, have all been banned for uh, one year. With um, Yeah, these all, it's kind of crazy how much it's happened. Of course, we have a lot more of betting has been kind of pronounced in the last couple of years with a lot of like DraftKings, FanDuel, um, um, I don't know what, what other um, draft sites are out there. You have Better by Jake Paul out here now. But it's kind of crazy because a lot of fit betting is being promoted by all these leagues. And they're like, hey, you can't bet at all. Because I i don't know if... Because we also had the uh, show with Tani with his um, Ippy, um, with the, his um, translator Ippy. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing the name right. Oh, I'm not... Japanese and it's I think Mazudi Ebi. He just got like a 33 year behind um, jail sentence for um, betting with like millions of dollars that was from Shohei. But yeah, they're apparently they're cracking down a lot on this. It's cr throughout most sports. Well, as far as I know, all sp um, North American sports here. But yeah, we had of course that on that one got took up a lot. I think it was probably two months, two and a half months that that took for the uh, translator. We had, of course, all these players have just been given all their suspensions. Of course, they can come back. And it's not like the team going to hate them. They're going to hate them like, hey, you just crapped on your, like, made yourself look really bad by not being able to control yourself. Which I think a, a couple of them were, like, um, betting a couple hundred dollars on their te on teams. But the reason that they are not, that those four players are not getting suspended for or banned from baseball is because they were betting on teams while they were in the majors and they obviously have no control over and they were not playing in the games to help make that bet either work or not work but um yeah so i think that they were um some of them were betting a couple hundred dollars throughout it and granted you're minor leaguer they if you're not a top player like you have with paul skeens out here you have um jackson holiday out here also your dad is a major league um, legend already but skeens getting like 10 million dollars in his contract i think they're they these guys are getting paid hand decently well a couple hundred thousand dollars but they're they're probably trying to be like hey like let's make it let's try and make it a little couple of good bets here um but we have a lot of these players were on the minors, which is the reason why they are not being banned and were not on the team or they were probably betting on other games in general that were not even their actual team that they're trying to get to at that current moment. But um, yeah, these guys are uh, getting all oh, suspended for a year. And yeah, we'll see them back in the minors. Probably a couple of them will be in the minors. But we have the one big one is to, uh, sorry if I'm going to pronounce the name wrong. Tukupi Americano. Um, he's getting a lifetime ban he, um, from bet, from baseball. Um, play a utility man for the Padres. He um, the reason why he is getting the ban, just like um, what we had with Pete Rose, absolute legend. If he didn't sign something that he didn't want to get in the Hall of Fame, he probably would in some way. But um, they're also, of course, cracking down very very hard on it. He, get, he was playing on Pittsburgh when he was betting on Pittsburgh, which is, of course, the reason why you can't bet on uh, why he's getting the ban is because it was like, hey, you put a bet on here for maybe a player prop for someone or just a team in general to win in, in some way so you could have helped to, uh, make your bet happen and win money off it, which is the reason why the lifetime ban is coming in. But also he bet, I think it says, um, like a couple hundred thousand, uh, he bet like, I think, uh, I think it was more than $150,000. It was like last year through, um, through, through this early, uh, like last year. So I think basically an entire year in a way, but he won only 4.3% of his bets, <laughs> which 
for a guy who's probably getting paid a little bit better than that um, throughout with his actual contract, it's kind of that's where his it's kind of silly. Is let's see what his his actual contract is right now. Um, yeah, he okay. He he bet about one sixth of his contract. I think if the math my math is right, it probably is wrong, but I'm going with it. Yeah, he is getting. He was on a one year contract for seven hundred forty six thousand dollars with the Padres, which um, is of course not happening anymore. And they could probably be very happy about losing that. So um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how so many players are just falling into this trap. It's kind of like, I know it, a lot of players have, might have an addiction in their family. That's a big thing. Like a gambling addiction is a huge, serious thing. I've mentioned it before on this channel before. I've been around it. It's It can take over some people's lives and destroy some people, have them go bankrupt. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of crazy how your part, I'm sure if anyone out there is watching sports at all throughout, you can watch it for one night in general, baseball, basketball, hockey, um, they have literally billboards on their, um, like the boarding, their fields, their um, just advertisements, their commercials are all the time just, oh, hey, bet, you get to, get this, get 150, like, if you have that addiction, you're like, oh my, oh god, I can get 150 for after doing five or whatever. Like it's, it, it just clicks into their brain, like, oh, well, let me do it. But some people just can't get away from it, unfortunately. Um, that's why I don't do it. I don't have an addictive personality, thank God. Um, but I just have seen people just not have, a, have a difficult time getting out of it and not being able to control it. Um, of course, I've seen the other side where people are very good with it. They understand it. They actually can make a lot of money. Some people actually, I know, have made more than their salary off betting just because they know the sports so well. But yeah, we have another guy now banned joining Pete Rose in that banishment from the MLB, which kind of is unfortunate for him. He definitely a very young guy, 24 years old. Um, he placed yeah, 25 bets and won 4.3% of them, which couple with almost getting to 200k in betting and only winning four, under 5% of it is terrible. Um, not great with math. You're, of course, I say that a lot, but yeah, it's not a good amount of bets he, he's won. He maybe won like, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars, if that, to, to go. To go help him, maybe me get back his bet, uh, his dead, or go get some food somewhere. But um, yeah, it, it's just crazy out here. So hey, if you, I always say don't, I don't condone any um, bad stuff. It, gambling's not bad; it's just an addiction. So if you are have know you have an addictive personality, um, I'm here actually. I'm reading here according to the sports track, um, which. Of course, it's pretty reliable. If you're a sports fan, you, you've definitely been on sport track. Marcano has made around $2.7 million in his pro career and was on a league minimum of 740 as he was rehabbing. So, hey, he's he's made some decent money in his life. 2.7 is nothing to uh, laugh at. But, um, yeah, he's definitely not making anything else. He, he actually was betting even less than what he made, I guess, in his life. But, yeah, no more. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this doesn't happen to a lot more players, which I'm sure it's going to be doing. They're going to be cracking down a lot more, and a lot more players are not going to care, and they're going to keep on doing it, and they're going to get caught. So, uh, hey, stick around for more updates on people un probably unfortunately getting caught betting. And, uh, yeah, like this, uh, like this video. Um, get, show to other people how crazy this stuff is. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next one. Peace!